Hi, my name is Mohammed Shukri and today I want to talk to you about what I call as the speaker's dilemma. Yes, speakers have a dilemma. And before I explain the dilemma, let me just tell you a short story. In one of my recent programs, um, there was a lady in the conclusion of the course, she uh, raised a comment which was uh, an eye-opening comment. And she said, Mr. Muhammad, you're, you are poor in marketing. I said, what? She said, you are poor in marketing. Uh, this valuable training that I received I didn't find you through marketing and I think many people should know this uh, program and they must know the trainer but they won't if you keep uh, this way of marketing of course I had my own defense in answering her I said why marketing um, to get more exposure I said to her well my calendar is full and I have so many speaking engagements but uh, friends, this was an excuse. Later, after speaking with a friend of mine, uh, he's a branding expert, I came to know why marketing is important. Even if your calendar is full, because the idea is not to just have a busy calendar, but are you reaching the target audience you want to reach? Are you reaching to the people that your message is designed for them or not? So here I want to share with you three lessons that I learned from my 30 years of public speaking career. And all of them come under the dilemma of speakers. Lesson number one. Speaking and speaking business are two totally different things. We get excited about our speaking. We feel that we have a message. We have uh, well-designed speeches, keynotes. And then we decide to go into the business world and make our speaking in a business format. And this is what we find out. The business, the business part of speaking is you know, not as pleasant or we don't master it the way we do when we master our speeches on, on the stage. So uh, there are so many aspects to it, the accounting, the contracting, the negotiation, the outreaching, the marketing, all that consumes us and suddenly we find ourselves um, really far from the stage and busy with the um, with the day-to-day uh, -day, uh, thick and thin aspects of the business and suddenly we see ourselves uh, craving craving to do the speaking the way we did before but we don't because we have to run the business and many people I know have left that aspect to run their speaking business but not but no longer uh, practice their passion as a speaker. So that's dilemma number one. And we should be very clear that speaking and speaking business are two totally different things. So that was lesson number one. Lesson number two is uh, it doesn't have to be either or. Uh, many people say, okay, so I'll take the speaking only because that's my passion. I, I'll just deliver my speeches and I will not do the business part. I will sacrifice that. Let someone else do that. Let, let an agent take care of my business. And, and there, on the other hand, there are people who will say, okay, I will run the business part. And then they find themselves far from uh, practicing their passion, which I mentioned before. My, my, my point here is it doesn't have to be either or. You actually can take both. And that's what I'm going to explain at the end of this message. So... That was lesson number two. Lesson number three is this. And that's good news for everyone. Uh, you don't have to know everything. You don't have to master every aspect of your business, especially business. Yes, you should take care about the core part of it, which is your speaking, your message. You uh, improve the product, improve the program, improve your keynotes, your seminars, make them better and better, make them more impactful, make them rich with uh, all the supporting materials, etc. However, the business part of it, you don't have to know everything. You can know something about everything. So that's why uh, knowing these three lessons, you don't have to be in a dilemma. It's not either or. It's not me just speaking or just running the business. You can take both. And that's why uh, I have gathered uh, after 30 years, Finally, I'm launching a program which is called the Professional Speakers Training Program. And in that program, uh, you will come uh, face to face, 
learn from 10 experts. 10 experts with, you know, dozens if not decades if not centuries of experience in different aspects of the speaking art and business. And there you will learn step by step, day after day, how to preserve yourself, find your authentic speaker in you, the authentic message, your niche topic in the market, but also how to market that and how to make it in a line of a business uh, from, from social media to mar- digital marketing to uh, uh, starting up your business to speaking to TVs and cameras and the list goes on. So under one roof in, in just one week, you will learn all that, which otherwise you wouldn't if you spend months or years to gather all those. And it will be very much customized and tailored to you because you're going to deliver your speech that you have designed there and then. So in the professional speaker training program, I am teaching through these 10 people what I also need to learn and to change as a speaker, as a professional speaker, because at the end of the day, you really want to perform on the stage with full passion from your heart, do the change that uh, your audiences need, transform and inspire people without losing yourself into the details and the um, thick and thin of business which consumes your energy and leaves you just a a working machine. So that's my message and that's my offer to you. The, The professional trainers program is launched for you and you know that I'm talking to you, you know who you are and you know that you want this if you're looking for this. The bottom line is this, we want you to win your audiences, to win the stage without losing yourself. That is why the professional speaker training program is all about. See you there.